Okay, welcome to the third time that I've done this. <laughs> digital, draw digital Drawing 101. Um, hopefully, if you're looking at this, that means that you either just bought a tablet or you're thinking of buying a tablet because you are a pencil and paper analog artist and you want to get into digital because you know that mostly everything is is digital and you want to start getting some work and you just wanna I don't want I don't believe that digital replaces pen and paper for some people it does but I just think that it enhances and it uh, adds to what you already do so the good thing is that if you're already a painter or if you're already an illustrator this is just a tool just like a pencil is just like a pen is this is just a tool the advantages of digital is that you never run out of supplies uh, by the way this is a program called sketchbook pro as you can see I have a pencil marker ballpoint pen felt tip pen erasers uh, the flood fill or the paint bucket tool as it's called uh, and what the paint bucket tool does is check this out huge advantage of digital now I'm gonna go over here I'm gonna select a color and look at that it fills it up for the most part and if you make the line cleaner it'll fill it up like if you do this right here I can now go back in if you make a clean line then it'll fill it up that saves you a lot of time digital saves you time look at that and that so that's one of the major advantages of digital it's time saving you never run out of colors ever because uh, it's impossible to run out of colors digitally and you have a variety of brushes and um, things that you can do that you that would be very expensive that would be very expensive if you were doing them like all of this all these brushes and pencils and uh, just imagine having a full set of Copic markers well I have one as you can see this is my Copic library um, and so there's uh, as I said before there's numerous advantages to this uh, tablets are great because they are pressure sensitive if I want to get in and draw really lightly if you're an artist that's used to doing cross hatching you can do that if you want to press harder like I'm doing right now the tablet will pick that up now I'm using a Wacom bamboo create you can get them for about hundred and fifty bucks uh, maybe there might be somebody on Craigslist that has one but I would kind of stick with Wacom but if you cannot afford that because I know times are rough so you know just get what you can get but having any tablet is better than having no tablet because drawing with a mouse is just not gonna get it <laughs> that's just not there's just no just look you just can't draw with a mouse I'm sure there's gonna be somebody that goes well I've been drawing with a mouse for a year okay that's great I'm happy for you but most of us cannot draw with with a mouse it's just you might be able to do some basic coloring with a mouse but I wouldn't even suggest that so let's talk a little bit about um, what this little it's not even a course that I'm putting together just a series of videos and by the way if you haven't subscribed I'd like it if you would subscribe because uh, what I'm gonna go into is I'm gonna talk about uh, different programs and um, first let me talk a little bit about the tablet that I have now with my now this is not a tablet like a tablet PC um, so what I did I went up to file and I hit new it's asking me do I want to save the changes if I wanted to save the changes I hit yes and this other little screen will pop up that's uh, so that's my draw better series um, but we don't want to get into that I just want a new so I'm gonna hit no so my tablet it's not a tablet like like this with the icons and it's not a tablet like that I did this so horribly but that's okay so it's not a uh, a tablet with 
like this where you go in and you touch the screen uh, and it has an off and on button and etc it is not this it actually I'm gonna create a new layer here and then I'm gonna hide this layer it magically disappears so my tablet actually looks more like this and I'm looking down at it right now and let me grab the paint bucket tool like this so my tablet looks more like this this is oh crap <laughs> this is kind of what the bamboo create looks like now there are there is a Wacom Cintiq which costs well it costs about a thousand dollars but this one cost me about 150 because the actual screen is not here this is where I draw it with my stylus and it appears on your monitor yay monitor uh, and, and this will appear on the monitor in the program in which you are drawing in. Now I know this may seem silly and, and uh, very beginner-like, but there are artists out there who are really amazing artists that don't know some basic stuff. And I, and I, I don't want to operate under the assumption that you already know this stuff. Uh, because a lot of times people are afraid to ask these questions because they think they're going to feel stupid. But you're not going to feel, but you, you shouldn't be ashamed to ask a question. There's nothing wrong with that at all. So that's what I'm here for. This is an absolute, very, very much beginner series on, um, on learning how to digital draw. So I would say that get a, uh, get a tablet. That's your first step. If you already have a tablet, that's cool. Um, after you have a tablet, uh, because this does come with my tablet in particular. I'm sorry, I interrupted myself. My tablet in particular comes with, it came with three programs. It came with Sketchbook Express, which is this program right here. And as you can see, it's it's got a lot of the similar stuff that Pro has. I mean, it has, like right here is the airbrush tool. I don't know if you could see that, but, you know. It's got the same stuff, more or less. So it does come with um, it does come with that, and you can download like uh, um, if I'm not if I'm not mistaken, you could download this program off of either iTunes or Google Play for like five bucks. So uh, and it also comes with Photoshop Elements, and Photoshop Elements is its light version of Photoshop. But as an artist. I do have a copy of Photoshop, but Photoshop Elements is excellent because you still can import brushes, you still can do almost anything that you can do as an artist in Photoshop, um, especially when it comes to drawing. And uh, now some people don't like Photoshop. I don't really draw in Photoshop that often. Um, I just prefer to draw and sketch in this program, but Photoshop has a lot of capabilities that this program does not but as far as drawing goes I prefer this program this is just my favorite program of choice um, and maybe I can do a um, a video a little bit on how to draw in this particular program and then maybe I'll walk you guys through Photoshop and show you how to do that so that's kinda the tentative plan for this is to uh, get you guys drawing and there's also this program called GIMP which is absolutely free you could download it and so with every little preview I'm gonna show you guys um, how what the similarities are and what the differences are with with programs and also this particular tablet also comes with so so far we got let me see here we got Photoshop PS, oh that looks terrible. <laughs> um, and we have Sketchbook um, Express, and it also had, and it also when this is when I bought it, like two, I bought, I've had this tablet for about a year and a half, two years, about a year and a half, maybe two years. Um, 
and it was uh, it came also came with uh, painter essentials so you get painter you get sketchbook and you get Photoshop and they're the light versions but you can get any work that you want to get done with that so uh, in my next uh, in my uh, next tutorial I'm gonna walk you guys through um, the different programs I'm gonna talk about sketchbook pro then I'm gonna talk about Photoshop and I'm just basically going to go over them for those of you that don't know how to work them because there's Photoshop is a huge huge massive program that you can do anything visual visually with um, and so it, it uh, there's a lot of there's way better uh, instructors on the nuances of Photoshop way better than I am uh, I teach people how to draw and illustrate and uh, kinda kinda stick to what I'm uh, uh, good at or at least halfway decent at so I hope you guys will enjoy uh, join me in the next lesson where I'm gonna go over things like how to open a file how to save a file what are the similarities what are the differences and um, and yeah, that's that's uh, what I'm gonna do in the uh, the next video. So uh, I hope you will uh, subscribe if you already have not. Uh, just hit the button uh, and um, and check out some of my other art tutorials for those of you that have never seen or heard of me before, <laughs> and not a lot of people have. Uh, but uh, check out the art tutorials that I have, and uh, I hope you'll join me in the next lesson.